God damn it. Another fucking umbilical cord. All right, this week we have a special guest on the PC Gamer Show, and while we don't avoid politics here, we also don't believe games exist in a vacuum. We usually don't talk about them so directly either, uh, but given that it's Halloween season and we're all working through the stress of a global pandemic during a heated high stakes election season, we figured we'd talk to the people at Ground Zero where America's collective subconscious most resolutely manifests, usually as twitching piles of limbs and teeth and rusty rebar. Please welcome the mayor of Silent Hill. Hey man, thanks for having me. It's uh, It's been rough been a rough year for everybody especially in silent hill yeah i can imagine uh how's the weather lately it's been dark for four days oh. it's been dark and, and and real loud a lot of flapping going around uh-huh. uh i've been staying inside I, I encourage other people to do the same all right let's uh let's talk origins huh uh how exactly did you become the mayor of, of silent hill that's an interesting question uh you know i i'm not a hundred percent sure i uh you know, I remember about five years ago, I lost my job. I had a good job at a, at a manufacturing industry and I was making good money. I lost my job and I couldn't get on welfare because of my record. And, uh, you know, my wife and I, we were arguing all the time. We were both really miserable. We had a baby on the way. And uh, then I just blacked out for a couple months and I woke up uh, in an empty house on Levin Street in Silent Hill. And uh, looking around, all the, the clothes, none of them are mine. The food's all rotten. And looked in the mailbox, and it's a letter for me that uh, said that I'm the mayor of Silent Hill. So not sure what happened. Not sure I tried to leave, but here I am. Well, either way, congratulations on the Thank position. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, I'm sure it's an honorable position to take up. Uh, but speaking of this election season, it's a big one. Um, are folks getting worked up there? Town halls getting... A little lopsided and, and yelly. Uh, you, your local post office keeping the high speed sorting machines assembled. Everything going smoothly. You know, every every election is complicated, uh, but Silent Hill is the only town in the United States that exists both in a ghost town and a uh, blood soaked nightmare dimension. So we, mm-hmm. you know, determining districts is is very difficult, and counting ballots too. Sometimes when you put the ballot in, it turns into a poem written in blood. Uh, and, you know, just to make matters worse, the post office fell into a hole and we've been trying to get it that, but it's a pretty big hole. So, but, you know, I, I, people kind of pigeonhole the, the small Midwestern town as just being a, a conservative, uh, you know, a, a diehard conservative state. But we we have a very progressive town here. We have the most wheelchair accessible town in the country. You know, we have uh, the most bookstores, the most schools, and we get all of our renewable energy from uh, the rusted wind turbines that extend infinitely into the howling darkness of the void. So we really have a lot of things going for us. You know, it, it, people change, progress changes people. You'd be surprised how quick uh, libertarians change their mind after they get stabbed by a floating corpse. Oh, I can imagine, I can imagine. Um, but also adding to the stress, as we mentioned at the top, is the, the pandemic. Um, How's Silent Hill holding up? Uh, has it affected sort of the day-to-day out there? And what's your response been like as the leadership there as mayor? You know, Silent Hill is very well equipped for uh, for any kind of disease outbreak pandemic. There is medical equipment just kind of generally all around. Uh, we have a pretty well-established social distancing rule that goes back into, I mean, decades now. Uh, Nobody goes to the beach ever since what happened to those girls. There's basically no nightlife. And uh, we have more nurses uh, than uh, than any other town in the country except for Nurseburg, Ohio. So that's really saying something. But uh, I, I encourage people to stay indoors, wear a mask, and uh, don't go outside under any circumstances. Good to hear. Um, also, as part of the pandemic, uh, the economy's taken a hit, especially small businesses. They're shutting down you know, left and right all across America. Um, Arguably, though, you know, Silent Hill has been experiencing the psychic pandemic for decades now. How is business faring uh, for all the mom and pop shops in town? And, you know, I got a sort of an addendum to this question, the housing and rental markets. Any good movement there? The pandemic is is a challenge for sure. Um, we've been having a hard time ever since the town credit card machine went down. And the only place with Wi-Fi is infested with skinless dogs. So... 
I'm not gonna, you know, sugarcoat it. We are in a, in a in a pretty rough place. Most of the businesses are boarded up, but there are interesting new policies. I I was doing some research on this. You know that in uh, Churchill, Manitoba, it is illegal hmm. to keep your car doors locked at night because there are so many polar bear attacks. Hmm. And so I've adopted uh, that kind of thing. Now we we have a lot of issues historically with locked doors, and so I have uh, kind of tackled the issue of monsters with the issue of the rental market and just decided that anybody that can get into an open door, that's basically your business now. So if you find an open door in a house, you own a house. It's a pretty straightforward plan. Yeah, I might have to come on down and see if I can't uh, get my own, you know? Uh, I've always wanted to own an ice cream shop, so why not now? The new Detroit. <laughs> um, let's, let's, let's shift gears a little bit. Uh, you know, Silent Hill. It's known for its monsters, um, and we're talking about of a lot of anxiety-inducing topics here. How can we not, right? Uh, so let's talk about new monster creation. How has the uh, collective psyche of Silent Hill and the U.S. large affected monsters and the kinds of monsters that are willed in a creation around town? Are we seeing any sort of like new object and appendage mashups as a result? You know, uh, I, I feel like monster is a very loaded word. I prefer the term... Um, Constituent, I'm just messing with that. This place is scary. Uh, the monsters I keep seeing are pretty consistent women in wedding dresses with slump faces and no eyes, babies with my face. And I saw a tall man t- standing on top of Neely's bar pointing at me and saying, Guilty. I don't know what any of this is about. I seem to be the only one dealing with it. Um, but, you know, you, you kind of learn to, to adapt your life around the monsters. Uh, you know, if I spent all the time fighting monsters. I wouldn't have time to be the mayor, you know, I'd just be another unemployed guy crying hysterically as reality melts away. I wouldn't have time for politics, you know, but, um, I feel that life is different. You know, I, I've adapted a lot. A lot of us have, I don't open any refrigerators anymore. Um, I just eat dried food, you know, just like what dad fed me between the ages of two and 19. Uh, but, uh, I don't think that national politics has really gotten into, the Silent Hill psyche just yet. Uh, Mostly, I've been dealing with reports from men dealing with writhing, gurgling heaps of flesh, oddly reminiscent of their own selfish violence, and stories of women dealing with men. So it's a pretty even bet across the board. I'll go out and say it. I think if if more men went to therapy, we wouldn't need a Silent Hill, but here we are. Okay, let's move on from, you know, all these uh, these terrifying real life topics and move on to something a little more uh, celebratory. It's Halloween season. Um, and I got to know, is Halloween typically when silent is most scary or are you, I don't know, do you feel like the town is sort of shouldering a big stereotype in that way? Um, and, you know, kind of tailing off that, can you speak to 2020s scare statistics, dimensional transformation rates so far? And uh, uh, I got to know, who are you dressing up as? After a certain point, Halloween and Silent Hill becomes kind of a moot point. You know, it's like Christmas at the North Pole. It's, uh, it's like a year round thing. So we're just really gilding the lily. The, as for the dimensional changes, that's been an ongoing thing. I've been trying to keep notes on it, seeing when it happens. I hear the bells going off. I watch, you know, the, the fog turns into darkness. The sinks gurgle up with blood and... Uh, you know, the walls fall away to reveal the infinite blackness of the chasm. And uh, I look at my phone and all of my Robert Evans podcasts have turned into Ben Shapiro podcasts. So it's it's truly a horror beyond words. And I've been here for days. And, you know, for Halloween, uh, there's not really a trick-or-treating thing, but I do like, you know, I like to be a little festive. Um, you know, nor I spend every day dressed up as the mayor, but uh, I was thinking maybe go a little niche uh, this year, I was going to dress up as a popular Chicago comedian and illustrator, Winslow Domain. He, he's got fans. Oh, uh, yeah. I've heard some of his stuff. Don't care for it. Not my thing, but um, yeah. cool. Well, it's, it's not for everybody. Sure. Uh, kind of back to uh, the town itself. Let's talk some infrastructure real quick. Um, you know, I've got a lot of emails asking me about this. Can you speak to the cause for delay regarding the public library's wheelchair ramp and have any action's been taken to address the sheer amount of burnt and unreadable books in the library. You know, the wheelchair ramp, we will get that sorted as soon as I find out who took the rock drill from the the room by the uh, drawbridge. There was a rock drill there. It's gone now. 
I don't know what the story is or where they even found the gas to use it. Uh, and as for the books, most of the burned ones are just copies of Atlas Shrugged, so you're not really missing much. Uh, and I got to know, you know, we all want to know, uh, Silent Hill kind of was put on the map for those amazing video game documentaries that kind of came out uh, over the last two decades. What's up with the lack of new Silent Hill game documentaries? No new subjects rolling through town in, in recent years? Yeah, it's, it's a great question. Um, we had a great run there for a while. A lot of uh, great foreign documentarians come into our little town. Uh, then we had some American documentaries that weren't, they were okay. Um, and just when things started to go quiet, uh, we had uh, heard that there's some absolutely legendary documentarians that teamed up to make a full Ken Burns style thing, just like true star power behind it. And then it just kind of vanished. Um, it makes it, makes me think we had this great burger place up in central Silent Hill Konami burger. Mm. Uh, I felt mm. like I remember that place so well as a kid, absolutely the best burgers I've ever had. And then corporate fired all of their cooks, hired more and then fired them. And now the only thing that works at Konami burger is the, is the pinball machine. So it's sad, really. They made great burgers. Maybe they will again. It's hard to say. Is there anything you'd like to say to the people of Silent Hill or the world at large? For the people of uh, Silent Hill, I do need to say um, run. And for the people of the world at large, uh, don't come to Silent Hill. It's not as good as you think. So thank you for joining me, Mayor of Silent Hill. Uh, and uh, best of luck with whatever uh, the heck it is you got going on there. How can people sort of stay abreast of everything going on in Silent Hill and uh, check in on you, see what you're up to? Well, everything I'll be doing uh, for as the mayor of Silent Hill, you can keep up with uh, on Twitter. I'm on Twitter at at Mayor Silent and everything else will be on Instagram at calculations. Great, great. Looking forward to seeing, uh, well, uh, how you fare in the future, good or bad.